What's up guys, it's Coach Grant with First Down Training and today we're gonna to be talking about the three best quarterback hip drills. Let's get started. All right guys, so especially in today's day and age of playing the quarterback position, you're seeing all kinds of quarterbacks work on hip and shoulder dissociation, these different hip drills. You know, the Dak Prescott thing was made famous because he was doing that hip walk as we like to call it. But what's the point of all those drills and what do all those drills actually work on, right? So a lot of people think that it's just about your hips, right? Just being able to rotate your hips, but really what it's about is transferring weight from your back foot to your front foot. And that weight transfer will naturally you shifting that weight through will naturally get your hips to rotate through. You don't want to just think about rotating your hips without your legs. You want to think about transferring your weight, which will get your hips involved with the throw. So the first show that we're going to be talking about works on exactly that. So they call this a QB shuffle. So what a QB shuffle is, you're going to need maybe about 10 yards of space, and you're going to be doing that exact same drill for the hips that everybody saw and saw Dak Prescott make so famous, right? So what you're going to be doing is you're literally going to start with your weight on this back leg. Back foot's going to be underneath your shoulder, right? So this is the key position that we want to be to. Because when we're at this position, we could actually transfer by weight through. So many guys try to work these hip drills, but their base is even. They're 50-50, maybe 60 on the front leg. You cannot transfer weight if your weight is already transferred to the front foot. So we have to make sure that my weight's on that back leg. I'm thinking about transferring through and shifting the weight from the back leg to the front leg. A lot of people say 60-40. I like to say 70-30. So what you're going to do is you're going to take a shuffle. So the shuffle starts with your front foot. Your front foot goes first because your front foot is the lightest foot. So you go here, shuffle up, hips. And you're going to do that for a 10-yard space. And I'm going to show you how this thing's going to look full speed. What you guys should be doing for this hip drill, add it to your routine. Maybe do four sets of 10 yards every single time you touch the field. Also, fellas, before I show you that full speed example of the hip drill, the hip shuffle that we were talking about, I want to talk to you about a great opportunity that we were having this offseason. We were traveling out to eight different cities across the U.S. for two-day long quarterback and wide receiver training camps okay so we're going to be coming out to houston texas phoenix arizona newark new jersey atlanta georgia chicago illinois dallas texas nashville tennessee and los angeles california so if you guys are local to one of those eight cities and want to come out and get some great work in with us check out that very first link in the description below these camps are not like the regular camps that you're going to see where there's 50 60 guys we're just trying to run you through drills we do 30 minutes of positional work and then we just run one-on-ones what we're going to do is for two whole days four hours each day you're going to get six hours total of one-on-one -on -one positional coaching we're limiting spots to only 10 to 12 guys so we can actually do that when you guys make a mistake we're going to stop everything correct the mistake show you what you need to do so you can actually develop one of these camps not just run you through the drills so if you guys are more interested or if you guys are interested in more information on our camps check out that link in the description below very first one we would love to have you out to one of our off-season training camps let's get back to this video All right, guys, so this next quarterback hip drill that we're going to be talking about is kind of a front foot in cement drill that I like to do with my quarterbacks because it works on them transferring their weight without taking a stride. So many quarterbacks, what they'll do is because they have that back leg under their back shoulder, they will push off of their back foot and they will get this really long stride. And what ends up happening is it looks like their back foot was super wide. They have this super wide base. They have no power and they end up coming down on the ball because they have no rotation from their hips and they have to rotate from their shoulders. So if you're a quarterback who likes to miss high, this is a great drill for you guys to work on that so what you're going to do is you're going to get in that good stance that we talked about back leg under your frame and i'm going to show you how this is going to look full speed back leg under your frame your front foot is going to be slightly open not directly pointed open slightly closed off but still open now what you're going to do is you're literally just going to shift forward shift forward and then on the third one you're going to shift that weight through to get your hips engaged with the throw because when you guys drive it's all about weight transfer it's not about hips it's about weight transfer and that shift comes from your back quad it does not come from your foot because if you guys try to push from your foot on this you physically can't your front foot's in cement you can't push like a pitcher would okay so we got to focus on just shifting that weight so again your back shift once shift twice and shift through letting that front hip open up and keeping that front foot cemented in the ground this works on having a weight transfer not a push off of the back foot i'm going to show you how this thing's going to look full speed All right, guys, so this last drill that we're going to be talking about for your quarterback hips and weight transfer is going to be called a straight jacket drill. So, so many times what quarterbacks like to do is that they think to get more power on the throw, and it will get you more power on the throw, but it will be inconsistent power as they like to swing their front elbow down. They like to swing open their front shoulder because they feel like that will get them more power. Now, the problem with that is, is that's going to affect your release point, right? So, if you take your front elbow and you swing it down, that's going to make your release get pushed high. And like we talked about earlier, that's why a lot of quarterbacks sail with the ball or the ball goes straight into the dirt. Or what guys like to do is they like to swing 
swing open their front shoulder for power and that's going to make your arm go wide and that's when you miss left to right so what you have to be focused on doing is keeping your front side completely square when you finish hips and shoulders should finish square and parallel to the target hands should be somewhere by this front collarbone region right and that will solely come from you trusting your hips and letting your hips rotate the ball through the sequence of every single throw is front stride hip rotation then the ball comes through and it trails behind similar to like how you would have a baseball bat and the hips come through before the bat does and the bat trails like a golf club you take the golf club back the hips come through first so this drill works on that aka that weight transfer so the straight jacket is you start out like this hands are crossed what you would do same back leg position all you're going to do is transfer that weight and let the hips bring your shoulders through there's going to be no movement hardly at all with your shoulders i don't want you to go like this that is incorrect i want you guys to be here shoulders go slightly back and the hip rotation brings you through simulating that baseball swing golf swing but really it's throwing a football now you guys are going to do it just like that qb hip walk that we showed we're about a 10 yard space you're going to hitch into it and do the full straight jacket i'm going to show you this thing's going to look full speed maybe about four sets of 10 yards of this drill All right, guys, we want to thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. If you guys have any questions about just quarterback mechanics, quarterback hip mechanics, or anything, don't hesitate to leave those in the comment section below. Always appreciate the feedback from you guys. And again, fellas, if you're local to one of those eight cities that we mentioned earlier in this video, we're coming out to Houston, Texas, Phoenix, Arizona, Newark, New Jersey, Atlanta, Georgia, Chicago, Illinois, Dallas, Texas, Nashville, Tennessee, and Los Angeles, California for two-day-long quarterback and wide receiver training camps. So if you guys want some more information on that, want to sign up, check out that very first link in the description below. I'll see you guys next time.